The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Power Trading Hour, with your host, David White. Now, the author of The Path of Least Resistance and the Tech Insider, David White. And welcome all to another wonderful day at the headquarters of Technical Trading and Investing, TFNN.com. Uh, we've got a market that's uh, light volume, uh, and uh, what can you say? Uh, 1.75 billion shares, so volume is light on the uh, S&P, uh, and 1.8 billion shares, uh, say that. And, uh, of course, uh, we got up to 17.58. Uh, we're about three points under that right now, uh, 1755. Not a lot of volume. Now, we are having a market that is uh, setting up with a lot of uh, earnings uh, to continue next week. Uh, plus, we've got some major news events that may or may not develop into something. Uh, the, uh, we had a fairly large earthquake uh, in Japan uh, about 30, 40 minutes ago. And it was a, somewhere around a 7.5 on the Richter scale. And uh, about 300 miles uh, northeast of, uh, of Tokyo. Uh, the question is, uh, will it end up being a tsunami? Uh, Z in the den was nice enough to point uh, to uh, put a uh, graph up. And uh, the way that the tsunamis work is that uh, they have to come from deep water and then into shallow water. And as they hit that shallow water um, ledge, the water accelerates and runs, uh, of course, into inland. And it didn't look like uh, from where uh, they are saying the, uh, the uh, earthquake was that there was uh, that big a difference. There is enough. Uh, and we still may have some damage, but the market didn't really react too far on it, and that's probably the reason at the moment. Uh, but uh, those tsunamis can move uh, very, very fast, and my guess is that uh, we should see that hit before the end of the trading day. Uh, so uh, I put uh, a couple of shorts on uh, and uh, just a little lottery ticket and thing in case things do go south. But my guess is that the market goes uh, sideways uh, to the close. But, uh, well, what can you say? A little lottery ticket. Um, probably not much chance of uh, much upside before the end of the day on this light volume. But uh, uh, just uh, remember that uh, a few years ago, uh, probably about two and a half years ago, um, we had a huge pullback on that uh, tsunami in Japan. And... Uh, Probably the last thing that they need. Uh, the Asian uh, markets were extremely weak over the night. Uh, Japan, I think, was off 2.7, uh, 2.8 percent by itself. Uh, that is all on what I reported earlier this week. Uh, that is uh, problems in the uh, Japanese banking sector. Uh, they are really starting to see some of the flaws of their system, and uh, that's not the only place that we're seeing uh, flaws, but. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, it yesterday, uh, and now we know a lot more about what's going on. Uh, there's a company called Muddy Waters who is a, a short seller uh, in the in uh, stocks, uh, and uh, Net Quinn Mobile is a uh, Chinese company. They came out yesterday and called it out and out of fraud. Uh, normally, you don't do that if you think you can get sued, so you have to back it up. Uh, they had a representative out last night, I think, uh, talking about what they did. So, of course, these guys make uh, software that runs on mobile phones, uh, mobile payment stuff. Uh, so they sent somebody uh, to uh, China uh, looking high and low for any sign that this NetQ uh, mobile does anything, that they had any of the customers they were talking about, that they had the locations that were on the books uh, uh, for them uh, to be running operations. Uh, looking for the uh, office, uh, guess what? A whole lot of nothing. And uh, that is uh, exactly uh, 
Uh, that a whole lot of nothing. They found nothing. Uh, of course, now the uh, owners of the co- uh, company are saying uh, everything's fine. Uh, don't run from the burning building. Uh, this thing, I think, just started uh, trading again shortly. Uh, let's see if I can find a quote on it. See if it is trading again. Uh, in Q, uh, let's see up here in Q. So what do we have? Uh, stocks, uh, see, eh, eh, 12, 11, says it's trading at, at 12 bucks. Of course, uh, a 50% haircut. Uh, the company head uh, who is coming out uh, with kind of a non-denial denial, and is, uh, especially when you're paying attention to news, uh, first you uh, pay attention to the uh, chart and the uh, tick. And secondly, you look at the news and see what uh, the people are saying that are in the company. Uh, basically, uh, they came out and started trying to pick the story that Muddy Waters did on them apart. Uh, and it wasn't on all the stuff that you we say exists doesn't. It was, uh, you know, this guy is a uh, uh, officer of the company or he's this or that or the other. And it wasn't like, uh, you know, they said... Uh, uh, you're totally wrong. It was kind of like arguing over whether or not uh, the story was about a blue or red car, and, of course, it had nothing to do with the color of the car. So they're fighting about inaccuracies in the story and saying because of those inaccuracies, the rest of the story or the gist of the story is wrong. My guess is it isn't wrong at all. Uh, and uh, this thing uh, is trading again. Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before they uh, peel the layers of the onion off on this one and it goes to zero because uh, apparently uh, the giant lie out there is the problem. Uh, Again, um, I think I mentioned it yesterday. I don't like trading uh, Chinese companies. Uh, They do not have to uh, uh, report at the same level that U.S. companies have to. And why the uh, U.S. government is allowing uh, China to uh, push these uh, frauds on us uh, is beyond me. But uh, almost, um, well, it was right after the first of the year, uh, basically, China said, we're not going to give you that info. It's uh, too much info for you to have because uh, you could use it and give it to uh, com- your companies, and they would have a, uh, a wonderful uh, advantage of knowing what's going on. And, of course, uh, it has very little to do with advantage. Uh, and mostly to do with finding out whether the company is still viable or a uh, a uh, tower of cards. Uh, and uh, eh, what can you say? A house of cards, I guess, actually, is the mixed metaphor. Uh, but uh, we'll be looking at that. So other things going on in the, uh, oops, in the market. I guess I shouldn't be doing that all over the place. Hang on just a second. Get everything back in order on my desk. Um, Tesla, uh, let's take a quick look at that. Uh, T-E-S-L-A. Uh, some good news and bad news. Of course, they're off a little bit uh, out here today. Uh, basically, in a sell signal. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> as long as they stay under the uh, nine-day moving average, they're probably going to be, or a three-by-three three displaced moving average. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yesterday, um, there is a council in California. Uh, they give uh, tax credits out uh, based on whether or not you meet their standards for what is known as a zero emission uh, cr- uh, car, and they give you these credits. And uh, they give you so many credits depending on how good your technology is. Uh, Tesla has been getting seven credits for every uh, S model they sell. Uh, and the discussion is whether to move it down to four credits because uh, the batteries are not replaceable i.e. they're going to have to scrap them all when the car goes to uh, uh, the dustbin and they're thinking uh, why don't you make uh, this car with replaceable batteries Uh, so that's the downside for Tesla there's actually a good side and I'm covering it uh, in the uh, uh, Tech Insider today Uh, so you can always go and get a free two-week trial on that Uh, but uh, even with this good news I don't know if it's going to be enough to long-term save a Tesla. And uh, eh, the question is whether or not we've got a a fairly nice um, 
pattern out here. But my guess is that Sing is probably headed back down to the $40 level long term. Not going to go above 200 bucks in the meantime. Uh, we have a very frothy market. I don't see that that would be uh, any problem. Uh, but uh, we are seeing a lot of signs of weaknesses in the market. Uh, we had uh, three uh, IPOs come to market. Uh, all of them priced at the very low end of the range and got out the door. There were a couple that didn't make it. Uh, so we're not seeing a lot of strength out there. Uh, at the same time, of course, everybody is talking up Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Um, uh, interesting IPO. Of course, uh, the details have kind of leaked, and it's going to price somewhere around 17 to $20, and that's going to be on November 14th. The other part that's probably most interesting to me is only about 10% of the shares are going to come to market. So there's going to be 90% of the people uh, that are 90% of the shares that eventually are going to, like an ass, have to find a seat one day. Uh, that is a lot of overhang uh, on a company that's priced at $10 billion. Now, uh, probably a little bit better uh, business plan than Facebook had at their IPO. But at the same time, uh, it is not a company that justifies a $10 billion um, price at the uh, IPO. Uh, you could probably say that maybe that would be justified uh, a year or two down the road if they can get into some serious earnings. Just remember that for every 10 company or every one company like Facebook, uh, there are 20 more companies uh, like uh, Angie's List, A-N-G-I, that once they go public uh, on the promise of being able to go uh, head and shoulders faster because we've got all this cash, they burn through it and that's it, and they have to come back and uh, actually dilute the shares even further. And uh, <clears throat> there's no end. This one's down again today on heavy volume. I can see this thing cracking all the way back down to the $10 level in uh, uh, probably before the end of the year. Uh, I wouldn't see a problem with it. So uh, you can always give me a call at 877-927-6648. That's 877-927-6648. I appreciate your calls. Uh, I'm not going to be on the Tom O'Brien show uh, this afternoon. He has a special guest. Uh, so we're probably going to try to get to a few more of the uh, Tech Insider uh, things that I normally cover on Friday today uh, when we come back. So anyway, make sure and give me a call if you would like, 877-927-6648, and we'll get to a few more things. And I'm going to talk about earnings when I come back, or the lack thereof. Um, what do we know now so much of the uh, S&P 500 uh, has uh, come out with earnings? We will uh, talk about that in just a moment. Wednesday, October 30th at 6.30 p.m., Andy Hecht has a special live online workshop for his subscribers to his weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, called A Roadmap That All Investors Should Use But Most Don't. During this hour-long live webinar, Andy will teach you how to use free and readily available market data to calculate the future expected price range for any asset. It's a simple yet powerful method that every investor should have in their toolbox. The best part is that you can attend this live online workshop, which will be archived, by simply signing up for a 30-day free trial to Andy's newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. And this is the last month to lock in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. This price will be going up by over 25% come November, so now is the perfect time to get in on the action. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV... 
WTFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a two-week free trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you in scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Dave, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And as we come back, I'm trying to finish my lunch. It's been a day that uh, just seemed like I can't get ahead of everything. Everything uh, keeps happening out here. So I'm going to have to pause briefly to take a drink here. <sighs> the Diet Coke hit the spot. So as we look at the indexes, uh, not a whole lot. We're up four and a half points out here uh, to a billion shares. Uh, we were talking about uh, how earnings have come in. Now we've got uh, about halfway through the S&P 500. Uh, we're trying to figure out how this thing works. And uh, the answer is, uh, numbers out this morning, 66% uh, of the stocks have uh, pretty much been, uh, well, they have um, beat the EPS numbers. The downside is only 50% of them are making the revenue numbers. We are getting dangerously close to a market that is a price for perfection. And we can see that as earnings come out and uh, they're either sold off or they rocket up on huge short interest. We have a bipolar market. We have the fund managers trying to drive stocks much, much higher. Uh, we have uh, fund managers that are looking at the fundamental values and saying, hey, uh, these stocks are wildly overpriced. Um, there's probably 10 stocks that I can name uh, that are overpriced. Uh, uh, 
Amazon probably being the, the number one. Uh, this thing had a nice gap up here today. Uh, too bad we didn't have uh, two more gaps like that and we'd have another Netflix today. A lot of smaller gaps out here in this thing. But here's my theory on Amazon and it's one day coming uh, uh, to uh, do that. Uh, to uh, come back into fundamental compliance. That is, right now, it is uh, valued uh, pretty much uh, like a tech company, uh, although it works on very small margins. Uh, it should probably have the same kind of earnings per share uh, forecast as Walmart, uh, and certainly uh, not like Apple getting 69% margins on their uh, uh, 5S. So the, the question is, which company would you rather own? One that is uh, constantly out at 4 or 5% uh, margin, uh, reinvesting everything. Uh, one day that they turn everything off, they're still only going to be making 4 or 5%. Uh, Apple, $150 billion in cash, uh, about uh, $7 billion for Amazon. Uh, and, of course, just the huge sheer volume uh, that Amazon does. My guess is that one day they won't be piling all their money back into the company. Uh, they'll actually make a profit. And over the next couple of quarters, everybody's going to figure out that uh, they've been pricing this as a tech company with 69% margins. Uh, and what they really have is a Walmart with 5% margins. Uh, and, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter because as long as they don't make a profit, no one can actually say, hey, your earnings per shares don't add up. Uh, so this is probably the perfect Rorschach test for a bubblicious market. That is, you don't have to prove that you should be valued as a tech company, uh, that you only have to uh, infer that you should, and no one will ever know the wiser until, of course, the excrement from the southbound end of the northbound cow hits the swirling moving air device. Uh, probably attached off the wall. So a uh, nice bump up here, a nice volume. Uh, I looked through the numbers on the company last night and listening to the earnings report. Uh, they are going to become the largest Walmart in the world. The question is, can they justify that uh, with maybe a little higher earnings per share uh, and margins uh, maybe in the cloud space? And the answer is even down there, uh, they are probably in the 10% uh, margin category for their online presence uh, in the uh, cloud. Um, we've been working on uh, going uh, and working with some more uh, Amazon technology. So it's not that the technology is bad. It is just that it is, uh, they are going for the uh, lowest price possible, uh, deciding to take market share, which is a great business uh, unless if you're trying to return uh, money back to your shareholders, uh, you want the best price, not the lowest price. And, and, for, and basically, that's he's got carte blanche now to do anything he wants. Everybody in the investors are looking at the stock price, saying that there, there's no termites in that house. There can't be. Jim uh, Bezos is running it. It's perfect. It's great. Uh, and I don't think that there's going to be any big surprise other than one day. My analysts say, uh, where well, you've got this price like Apple when it should be priced like Walmart. And uh, that will probably be the day this thing cracks. We'll be back in a minute. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. 
For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Harmony Gold. For more information, just click the Harmony Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're ready to talk about the Fed a little bit before we get going. And, of course, we have a supreme reverence for the Fed. And uh, anytime we talk about them, we must give us the Fed prayer. Janet, who art in finance, hallowed be the yellin. Thy auctions come, thy bills be done, in twos as they are in sevens. Give us this day our daily fed, and forgive us our treasuries, as we forgive those that default against us. And lead us not into recession, and deliver us from deflation. For thine is the borrowing, the easing, and the printing forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. So today, what do we have? We have uh, one of the uh, Tea Party guys uh, as a senator, uh, Rand Paul, uh, that is uh, talking about blocking Yellen's 
uh, nomination. They've always had a gentleman's agreement that any of the 100 senators can come and block a nomination for any reason, uh, and, uh, meaning that they have to go and have a higher vote uh, even before uh, she goes to uh, get grilled in front of them. What he is doing is not so much a uh, uh, slam against her, but uh, using it to uh, push an agenda. That is, agenda is having the Fed audited. Uh, the question is whether or not the Fed actually has the money that they say they have. Uh, are they lying about what they're doing? Uh, they give us what they say they're doing, but how do we know? Uh, his idea is that one day we're going to come into the House and it's going to fall on our head because, guess what, they lied to us. Uh, and uh, he's been pushing this uh, Fed audit. Um, for me, I'm wondering why it always didn't exist. Uh, can you imagine uh, an entire country falling to its knees because a bunch of guys uh, get into a problem like we've seen in trading where people just keep throwing money after money after money? Hopefully, uh, they're going to die before uh, the scam comes to light. Um, so... Uh, he's not so much bad mouthing her as using it as a device uh, to get the Fed to actually uh, publish everything that they have and have an outside auditor actually say what it is. Uh, if they're not going to allow that, I think we've got to at least have a congressional committee. Uh, so there are enough people that we vote that uh, we could uh, chase them down with pitchforks uh, if we find out this thing was a whole house of cards. Uh, and. Uh, Eh, somewhat interesting, at least to me. Uh, other things uh, going on in the uh, market today uh, are uh, uh, da, 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 oh, uh, something that uh, my predecessor uh, brought up that I thought was interesting, and that is that we're probably going to see a little difference in the markets uh, for the next two weeks. Uh, what happens over the next two weeks? Well, starting on Sunday, of course, we have the change in uh, daily savings time. And uh, that means that normally for about two weeks uh, that we're going to see a difference between when the uh, European markets close now at 1130, they're going to close at 1230 for the next week. I think that's right. Or is it 1030? I think it's 1230. Uh, so I'll check on that before the end of the show. But uh, there is going to be an hour difference. Uh, normally, we see a lot of change in the markets once we know that Europe is closed and Greece isn't going to start a fire and that uh, France is going to uh, attack uh, Germany. Oh, that's never happened. Maybe Germany attack France. So uh, uh, the whole thing is once they're done, uh, you can kind of not look over your shoulder and volumes tends to uh, pick up a little bit after uh, that happens. Uh, but uh, the spring and fall, there's always about a two-week difference uh, between that. And uh, I think uh, Daryl brought up uh, that reports, especially out of Europe, would change. Um, you know, if you're trading futures, that kind of stuff, uh, especially at night, you want to be aware of that. Uh, if you are trading day and especially equities, uh, probably the biggest thing is that uh, when their markets close and, of course, when we get a final print of uh, how they ended. So uh, I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, see what else I had. I think that's pretty much my list of stuff uh, that we have. So uh, we'll continue keeping an eye on that. Um, yeah, not a lot happening out here in the market. I don't see uh, any real uh, change uh, to speak of. Let's see what we have here. Uh, yeah, yeah, four points. Uh, a little over two billion shares. Uh, so well, what are you going to say? Eh, almost 2.1 billion shares as we speak. A very light volume day. What you don't want to see over the next couple of days is just that. We've got fun buying starting. Of course, that's going to start uh, Tuesday and eh, maybe start. And it's supposed to be the last three days of the month, first two days of the month. Uh, generally, what we found out, though, is that uh, most fund managers are not eager to be buying uh, early in the cycle. Uh, they'll try to buy as late in the cycle as they can to see uh, where other people are going and then stick their money in the same place, get a little bit more bang for the buck. Uh, of course, uh, if you're all, if everybody's waiting for the last person to get in, of course, there's always a mad rush at the very end. Why we see some spikes, uh, especially in these stocks, when people actually start uh, committing money to these trades. 
But uh, um, look for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, pretty much all next week uh, to have uh, at least a simple level of support. Uh, we're going to get into November, and I suspect uh, after earnings and everything quiets down next week, everybody's going to start looking forward to Thanksgiving. And uh, I think when we come back on the 4th, uh, we have an excellent chance of, of our made already uh, made a high in the major indexes uh, at least probably into next year. Uh, a lot of people are going to start looking at the uh, January shutdown uh, coming back again, like Freddy the uh, 13th. Uh, was that Freddy Krueger? What was that? Halloween? The Halloween? Maybe I'm mixing my, uh, uh, my slasher movies. Uh, but uh, I suspect we're going to see uh, some kind of thing on that. Uh, da, 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 see if there's anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm just reading a few of the uh, notes in the den. Uh, but uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, we'll start looking at earnings. We looked at Amazon already. Uh, wanted to look at a few others um, out here and uh, see if we've got anything moving on. Uh, Netflix really hasn't uh, moved so much, uh, but uh, let's see, uh, since it came out, uh, Microsoft, well, we haven't talked about them, uh, MSFT, so what's going on with Microsoft? Uh, they came out with a decent numbers, uh, even though uh, the PC business had shrank a little bit, uh, the money coming into that sector, the uh, retail home consumer owner, uh, increased and everybody was kind of shocked about that uh, but uh, shouldn't be shocked about today which I have a feeling has a lot more to do uh, with uh, the launch of the Xbox 720 uh, tonight if you're watching TV you should start already seeing uh, big ads and of course over the next uh, few games in the uh, baseball world we're probably going to start seeing a lot of uh, ads in those from Microsoft also Unlike the uh, Surface, a pretty a proven product, uh, about seven years of age. So I have a feeling that a lot of people that bought $350 consoles seven years ago are more than ready to upgrade. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, opportunity for Microsoft uh, to start selling some of their own content, their own apps, and their own games on these consoles. And uh, they've had such a huge penetration made such huge money uh, over these things over the years uh, that uh, a lot of people are thinking this is the next big upgrade cycle. It is not the PC. It is the Xbox. And uh, uh, at least what Microsoft is talking about uh, is uh, fairly decent. Now, uh, they haven't announced a new CEO. I suspect that that will happen uh, in December. Uh, they'll probably do it right around Christmas time. Uh, to my ex uh, just my call is that uh, the current CEO is feeling somewhat ashamed uh, and uh, would like to go out on a high note. And I think uh, uh, that's part of why he's trying to get out the door, uh, why everything else out here is doing well with the Xbox. And uh, the price is at least decent. There are some discussions of the, the next CEO and whether or not they're going to uh, take Microsoft and put it into many different pieces. Uh, but that's it. Apple trigger, bear butterfly, uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Um, anyway, uh, it can be different. Uh, what else do we have? Well, uh, it's not a bad looking chart out here. Uh, we certainly have the volume today uh, on Microsoft, uh, 89 million shares already. That's going up against uh, highs in this area of 65 million shares going back uh, to when this thing peaked. Uh, which is June 7th. Probably a year and a half ago, I said that Microsoft pretty much looked like it had a $38 tag on it. And you could see some of the new things that they were doing. Uh, I suspect what's really now just uh, people are figuring out is even though the PC business is not all that great, down about 20% off of its highs uh, a couple of years ago, uh, that they are slowly starting to move these people out of the XP market. And that's probably the, what uh, we've seen the biggest change in the last uh, three months. Uh, and Microsoft itself is saying that they think the bottom of the PC market is in, uh, which is, um, I think, probably pretty good for the uh, entire uh, tech sector. 
I still think that the broad markets are going to pull back and put some pressure on these. And uh, probably, uh, maybe in January, we're probably going to find some really good deals on some of these. Uh, could get a nice run, actually, uh, through uh, Christmas uh, and a uh, Christmas rally. Uh, but I have a feeling that maybe we've had that Christmas rally already. Uh, see what else we have out here. Uh, wind deck. Uh, not technology uh, so far, but uh, uh, interesting nonetheless is a Decker's Outdoors. Uh, this thing certainly looks like it's uh, getting ready to make some kind of long-term uh, attack. It's breaking out of its uh, lower levels, uh, but I don't like the energy in this last uh, big leg. If you're watching on Tiger TV or in the den, uh, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You've had two major runs up. It has completed its ABC uh, pretty much with what we have out there. Um, but uh, uh, this could be it. And, uh, uh, you know, you basically have uh, two nice gaps out here. Uh, let's get this thing. Uh, you have two nice gaps now. Uh, could this be the one in the uh, three-gap play? Uh, I probably don't think that uh, you're going to get a lot of that in a, a tennis shoe company. Uh, and tell you the truth, this looks extremely weak out here uh, just from the energy. And if you look at the December 24th, 2012 low uh, to the April 24th high of 2013, uh, and then compare that from the move from June 24th uh, to what we have out here today, or even uh, the highs of uh, October 3rd, this thing has not had a lot of energy in it. In fact, today is the first decent energy day. I suspect that is because you had a lot of shorts, especially these hedge funds, on the wrong side of this thing. Give it two or three days and see how fast this thing could come back and conceivably uh, fill the gap back down to probably 58 bucks. I think uh, this is one I'll be watching very closely over the next few days. Uh, let's see. Again, uh, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648, 877-927-6648. Um, they sell the Uggs, uh, and uh, kind of interesting. Of course, it is coming up on winter. Um, the question is whether or not uh, these are the uh, next uh, one of those, uh, uh, what are those little rubber, the Crocs. You, ever, those, these things seem to be faddish, uh, if anything does. And, of course, there's no more other greater thrill than go on to YouTube and uh, uh, search for both Crocs and uh, Turtles and uh, watch what uh, the Turtles think of Crocs. Uh, of course, uh, too graphic uh, for uh, the adults, even on TFNN, for me to verbally or visually show it. Uh, but uh, needless to say, uh, there must be something in those Crocs because the turtles gone wild videos, I'm sure, are all over it. So anyway, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are, are very smart. Uh, I, I, this seems like uh, the whole uh, thing's probably a little wild. And, of course, you come out with something like Uggs, they're fairly easy to uh, duplicate. And, uh, you know, you might get a year or two out of the very smart stuff, uh, but that is it. Uh, and uh, speaking of clothing, uh, we're going to talk about a clothing company and something that was in the uh, Tech Insider last week. Uh, it's going to be hard for me to show it, but uh, uh, I think uh, you might be interested in it. So we're going to be looking at uh, something like that when we come back. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Have you subscribed to The Gold Report yet? On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.69% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began. And right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Gold Report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market makes its way back into positive territory after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial today by visiting TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Over the summer, I uh, put in my Tech Insider probably one of the most exciting technologies I'd seen in several years. That was a, a small company, a very genius inventor, uh, had come up with a way to program magnets. And it may be hard for you to figure out, but yeah, think about a magnet uh, that only didn't have one pole, plus and minus, but had kind of like a lot of little magnets inside the uh, same metal or whatever chemical that the magnet was made of. And by doing it, uh, this gentleman had figured out that he could do all kinds of wickedly cool things with it. Uh, I think we showed it a little bit on the Tech Insider, uh, probably in May or 1st of June. Uh, well, I wasn't the only one that saw this cool te technology. Uh, there was a uh, uh, gentleman who had a um, friend uh, that had come back from uh, Afghanistan, uh, had lost the use of one of his arms, and couldn't zip up his jackets. 
So uh, what I showed in the uh, Tech Insider last week uh, was a company that had picked up this technology. You can search Google search uh, uh, Under Armour and uh, automatic zippers, and you should pop up some stuff from uh, late last week. Uh, but anyway, uh, Under Armour showing some new technology in clothing. Uh, showed this zipper. Now what you can do is just get one side close to the other one. It will actually hop in, jump in, and you can just use your one hand to zip it up. Um, I'm thinking this is fairly interesting. Under Armour itself came out with our earnings today. Uh, kind of uh, underwhelming. Uh, this thing's probably going to come back. Uh, they have uh, bought the technology from this gentleman. are going to probably put it in a 400 million uh, uh, actual uh, uh, jackets and uh, pullovers and everything else uh, over the uh, uh, next uh, uh, several years. Very interesting to see this. If you it, probably on an audio presentation, uh, a little underwhelming, but to see this thing almost magically jump together uh, like there was an invisible man holding the other side, uh, pretty uh, dramatic and a good example of how you can think out of the box to solve technology issues. Uh, my guess is that this will be fairly good for Under Armour. Uh, they're going to start advertising it in the next uh, six weeks, I believe. Uh, but uh, already a ton of these uh, getting ready to come out of the, the production room. So when you see them, uh, maybe you'll think about me and uh, the wonderful company that makes programmable magnets. Uh, but uh, just the idea of all the things that this will be able to be used for in the future that no one's thought about. Uh, but uh, anything from uh, closing drawers to all kinds of stuff, they can program the way that these magnets come together. And uh, eh, always uh, good to uh, have a copy of the Tech Insider if you're looking for investment ideas uh, in the near future. Of course, uh, uh, we've been uh, talking uh, pretty much uh, uh, nonstop for about the last three weeks about uh, why uh, Cree and uh, LED lighting was going to hit a high. Uh, we saw that come to fruition this week. Uh, but uh, I think that there's uh, not only winners, uh, we look at uh, pretty good cases of why you could see a stock could fail. Uh, and I uh, wrote a little bit more about that uh, today in the Tech Insider. But uh, if you want a good weekly roundup of what's going on it, uh, along with my calls uh, long term for uh, technology, um, but uh, you can always uh, get a car free two week trial of that by going to the front page of tfnn.com. And of course, my daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance. And of course, uh, go into the front page under Breaking News and check out the. Uh, uh, special on uh, that I have on there about playing three gap plays and we'll see you Monday same bat channel same bat time Basil Chapman has just announced that he will be hosting a one day online master trader class Friday, November 8th, Basil Chapman will teach you the essential fundamentals he uses when trading the market with his Chapman Wave methodology. Included in this full-day online master trader class is one month of Basil's daily newsletter service, The Opening Call, a $128 value, as well as a copy of his CD book, Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology, which usually sells for $249. Join Basil Chapman for this powerful one-day online master trader class Friday, November 8th, which will be archived if you can't attend live, where he'll give you a complete understanding of the Chapman Wave methodology and how to apply it to profitably trade any market in any time frame. For all the details and to reserve your spot while taking advantage of early bird pricing and saving $200 off the regular price, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.